We're back at French King Recreation Center for the second round match in this month's Western New England Candle Pin Association Pro Tour event. In this match, Ed Tringali, the third seed, who's just finished warming up, is going to take on Stephen Reno Jr., who just defeated Richie Myrick in the first round match. Ed Tringali will be starting on lane 14 with Stephen Reno Jr. on lane 13. Good ball by Ed Tringali, leaving the 5-8. Stephen Reno Jr. with a 4-drop on the first ball. Ed Tringali is a member of the USA East team that just repeated as world champions up in Halifax, Nova Scotia last month. Ed is also a member of the Woburn team in the Friday Night Pro League. And Ed starts off with a 10. I believe this is the first time Ed has bowled on the Western New England Tour. There's a 9 drop by Ed Tringali. He leaves the 5 pin. And a half whister left for Stephen Reno Jr. And Ed is all over that 5 pin for a spare in the second box. Stephen Reno needs an out here. He just put second ball in the same spot as the first ball, so he's uh, in need of... Uh, and it's just going to be a five, so Ed Tringali with 20 plus a ball to Stephen, Stephen Reno Jr. is 14. That's going to be a Eight drop for eight uh, for Ed Tringali, leaving the seven ten with some wood. So he's got a twenty eight to fourteen lead after two boxes. Let's see if he can. Well, he. Well, is it gonna come over and? Looks like it's gonna touch the seven, but not knock it over. Ed tried to use that wood to convert the seven ten, didn't quite make it. Both boilers will be open in the third box. 10 for Ed Tringali and a 10 for Stephen Reno Jr. Now Ed Tringali punches out the half whistler left. Steven misses the head pin again, but at least he has a makeable spare leave this time with the four horsemen left plus the eight pin. So he could run that down. Head with a good second ball, but uh, just still leaving the 7-10. And Steven hits the head pin a little too solid and punches out the 1-8, so he's still got the 2-4-7 left. That'll be a 9 for Ed Tringali, and a 10 box for Stephen Reno Jr. So Tringali leads 47 to 34 through four frames. Head with a pretty solid head pin hit, a little too high in the one three pocket. He's got the two, six, and ten. Piece of wood to the left of the two pin that he might be able to use. Just weep across. See what he can do with it. I got a little too high, I think, and just pushed the two back behind the six ten. And Steven Reno with a nice bid on the one three seven. But uh, he just got the one three, leaving the seven. Makes the 10. So through 5, Ed Tringali has 56 and Stephen Reno Jr. 44. And as they switch lanes, we will take a look at the scoreboard.
you can see Ed with one mark so far. He's got the only mark. And he leads by 12 through 5 frames. Steven goes over to lane 14. And Steven has a 6 drop, leaving the 1, 7, 8, and 10. Got a piece of wood behind the head pin that might make this uh, a makeable shot. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, he just goes by the head pin. And meanwhile, Ed Tringali is, uh, once again, he's got the 7-10 split. Again, he has some wood, and he makes a nice try, but just doesn't quite get the 7. That'll be a 10 for Steven Reno, Jr. 54 through 6. Ed Tringali with the 7 pin, and he's got it. So he maintains that 12 pin lead through 6. Steven Reno, Jr. Pretty high in the 1-3 pocket. He's got the 2, 4, 5, 7, 10 with a piece of wood behind the 2, 4. That actually, this might go if he can hit it. And he's got it. Really nice shot right there. Let's have a look at the replay. You can see um, the wood might have helped Steven with this shot, but uh, he hit it just about where he wanted to, so that might have gone even without the wood. Badly needed spare in the seventh. Ed Tringali goes by the head pin and, and uh, he was shooting the four horsemen right. And Ed will take a 10 box. So he's got 76 through 7. Steven Reno Jr. has 64 plus whatever he gets on his first ball in the eighth frame. And he's going to add Seven. So that cuts the lead to just five, 76 to 71 through seven. Ed Tringali with a nice hit in the 1-3 pocket, but not much to show for it. He's got the 5, 8, and 10. That's uh, a really difficult split. And Steven Reno tried to use the wood to convert that split, but he only got the seven. So both guys are going to be open in the eighth. Steven with a 9 box, and Ed Tringali still has the 8 and 10, and he goes by the 8 pin, so it's just a 4 pin lead now, 84 to 80 for Ed Tringali through 8. And that's a 9 drop for Steven Reno Jr., leaving the 4 pin. Ed Tringali. Ed punches through the middle and leaves a big five. Two, three, four, six, ten. There's a spare fight for Stephen Reno, and that's very important to uh, obviously to cut cut into the lead or have a chance to take the lead because Ed is going to be open in the ninth. So Ed wants to grab as many as he can with the third ball to try and to try and keep it close. That's a 9. So that means that Ed Tringali leads by 3, 93 to 90, but Stephen Reno Jr. has a fill ball, so he can take the lead if he gets more than 3 on this ball. And it's just 2. It's a half Worcester left. So Ed Tringali still leads by a pin as we are in the 10th box. Low scoring match, but certainly not lacking for drama as it's going down to the wire. Steven Reno is going to have to convert this half Worcester spare because Ed Tringelli has a 9 drop. 5 pin with a plank. And he doesn't, he goes by the head pin. He was try, probably trying to catch the left side. So it looks like Ed Tringelli is going to move on to the next match. Going to face number 2 seed Rich Bower. And Steven Reno finishes with an 8 for a 100 even. And Ed Tringali makes this pair, so Ed already has 103. So he will be moving on to face Rich Bober in the next round, in the semifinal round of this Western New England Tour event. So the final score is 
Ed Tringali, 109. Stephen Reno, Jr., 100.